Uh, g'day guys, this is a quick video about walnut blasting. Uh, that was a view of the number one port, which I'm in the middle of cleaning. Uh, just a quick video about walnut blasting um, before I will not be able to make it. Um, so remove your spark plug so you can turn the engine to top dead center. Uh, use a suitable screwdriver like this to bring it up top dead center and make sure the valves are closed. Obviously you need your correct adapter. Um, this is this particular car's a mini. Okay, and um, I'm not sure about the one we made before with Mark MGA, but uh, I'll just do a quick video again. Face all your connectors down or bag them up. Make sure you bag up, uh, tape up any of the inlet ports, the PCVs, uh, stuff like that, and obviously your other um, ports, but the whole thing with the walnut blast or the one I've got is is you do get blockages and stuff. So have a hammer on hand to tap the. Um... So far it's going well today, but I remember last time um, to tap tap this. And just bear in mind this this hose has a lot of on this particular tool has a lot of resistance on it. Um, last time we had this blow off uh, or, or start moving, I might go over that again now, but there's a lot of resistance to it. It is very easy to have this pointing in your face and bump that, that thing, just saying. So they do get blocked up. So far I've had two blockages and both times by tapping here, um, I freed the blockages uh, from the, the blasting nozzle um, and it depends on the level of carbon, but you're better off just soaking the, the valves with some type of combustion cleaner. Like, I'm just beginning to do this today. Like, I pulled it all apart yesterday, but I just, I can see it straight away. I've already started scraping away at the valve at some stubborn carbon. So, last time I did a mini, we got excellent results, but it's not without solvents and thinners and cleaners and compressed air shop, uh, shop supply. So, like... What I did, I'll basically um, scrape away a little bit now again with some solvents and then blast it out with the air onto here, okay? Because it's very easy to get this contamination all over the place. And imagine that you get it into your connectors and stuff and you don't notice. So that's just a little bit for the guys that are doing it in shops, I guess. It's not so much of a um, do-it-yourself thing, depending on, on how much you can do, but... Um, that's just my, my tips. Face them down, have some throttle solvents uh, or foaming cleaners, have a few different picks, um, you know, a, a brush a, a, a brush with a tapered end on it, like a bottle brush. Stuff like that's really going to help you as, um, you know, the walnuts, they, there's, only, there's a certain limitation. Um, also, regarding your regulator pressure and that, um, I'm just finding it that the higher the better. Um, and uh, obviously a good vacuum, um, it, you know, you're going to want a, new, a good vacuum. It, it's kind of beneficial. You don't need two people, but if you did have two people, one would sort of hold that nozzle. Um, as you do get um, from this nozzle, you do get a lot of pushback, okay? And I remember last time there were events where I sort of pushed back a bit far and the walnut stuff just goes everywhere. So... Yeah, it's something I think you just need a lot of patience with and um, due diligence and cover everything up, wear safety goggles. Uh, the issue is that they fog up, you know? <laughs> like, so you don't need to really see with the right adapter uh, what you're doing. The way this curved one is, it fits in here with this, with this nozzle for the, small, uh, for the mini ports. Uh, that's the BMW the other BMW nozzle, but you do get quite a bit of leverage and you got to remember, you got to get that nozzle back up and into the other valve. You can't just hit in the middle where the, the cylinder head is separating the intake ports. So you have to go back and forwards. If you pull out, you're going to have to get ready to shut the nozzle off. <laughs> anyway, hope that helps, bye.